Sephora haul. First, I got these two shampoo and conditioners. They're very good. I really recommend. A lot of you guys recommended the Fenty Beauty um, cream blush. So I got it in the shade Summertime Wine, I think. Then I got the Rare Beauty highlighter. Team Selena. And then I wanted to see what the hype was about. So I got the 68 um, Brazilian Crush kind of body mist. Then I got the Sephora concealer because I had no idea what concealer to get. And I mean, it actually worked out pretty good, so... I stocked up on some Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. I also got a perfecting skin tint. I wanted to try it out because I've seen it all around my For You page. Then I got a 24 hour brow setter by Benefit. <laughs> I was gonna say Benetint because I have it, but Benefit. And then last but not least, I just got a new beauty blender. I also went to Walgreens and I got some teeth whitener. And then where did it go, where did it go? Shaving cream. Thanks for watching. I've been giving myself the you don't need to buy anything unless you need it talk. Every time I like think about buying something, I'm like, do you need it? Like, I get so much stuff sent to me. Like, I don't need it. Like, I don't need it. Especially from Sephora. Rare Beauty came out with their lip oils. And I literally just, like, I know I'm not getting that sent to me. So, I was like, I, I, I need it. So, here's a Rare Beauty lip impression. There was also something else in my cart, so I just, I just got it. Okay, so obviously the Rare Beauty lip oil. This is in the shade Hope. I watched this girl test out all of them, and this one just, like, looked the prettiest to me, or the one that I thought I would, like, like the most. Okay, here we go. It's very, very, like, smooth. It, like, matches my lip color, or my, yeah, my natural lip color. When I do, like, lip liner, I feel like this would look a lot better. And then, I've been seeing this, like, everywhere. This is, like, the... Like, I shouldn't have nice things if I can't pronounce it. Giovenci? Giovenci? Giovanci. What the hell? How do you say it? Anyways, this, like, setting powder that has, like, the four different colors in it. And I, again, needed it. Well, this famous setting powder that I've seen literally everywhere. And then obviously the free samples. This is the Prada. Nope. Dang it. This is the Prada candy, but it's not. Oh. I don't think I like this. I mean, this is the Rare Beauty tinted moisturizer little samples. So, super excited to try this also my little Sephora haul that I probably didn't need, so. Okay guys, I went to Sephora yesterday and I spent, honestly not as much as I thought I was gonna spend, but I'm gonna give you guys a little haul. Okay guys, first things first, um, I am finally going to be trying Rare Beauty's liquid blush. I've been hearing a lot of people talk about this all over TikTok and honestly it's been a while since I've blended myself any makeup. So I really really want to try this and you guys look at how pretty this peak is. Love it. Okay, next thing is another Rare Beauty product. This is their light illuminator liquid. I've been seeing a lot of girls put this underneath their foundation so I want to try it because honestly I'm not really like a highlighter person. Um, but I don't know. I feel like seeing this in the store looks so pretty. I got like a, I think this is in the shade Enlighten. Okay, next thing is the Charlotte Tillsbury, um, setting spray. You guys, I never use setting spray and I feel like that's why my makeup rubs off so easily. So I'm actually excited to try this. Um, honestly, you guys, I got everything that's like been trending on TikTok. I just wanted to try everything. Um, and then next thing is this contour stick. So you guys, I've actually been using... Let me show you guys the contour stick I use. I've been using this like little um, Maybelline Instant Age Eraser from Target. You guys, I've always been using this. And I'm like, you know what? I need like a good contour stick. So I heard a lot of good reviews about this one. You guys, look how pretty the packaging is. And then it's like so... Um... Okay, what I was trying to say is that this formula looks really, really buttery. So... I heard it blends out really easy and smooth, so I hope I like it. And then the next thing is, you guys, Charlotte Tillsbury's lip, lip liners are my favorite. I have the lip liner, and I think it's in the shade, I want to say Pillow Talk, so I definitely needed a brown. Um, 
it's really really nice so hopefully i like this one and then oh two more things i got the nars um blush you guys look at this blush let me show you guys really quick Okay, so I was going to get the Dior blush, and you guys, it was sold out, but it's so expensive. So I decided to try this NARS one, which is like a dupe for that one. Um, so I'm excited because, you guys, I'm obsessed with blush. So there's one thing that I like to put on is blush, like a lot of it. And then, um, last but not least, I just stocked up in my Laura Mercier um, translucent powder. So my uncle took me to Sephora today, and so I have a haul. I just wanted to start off by saying I am so appreciative for everything he got me and it was a surprise and I'm just so extremely grateful. Okay, so um, the first thing I have, oh, what's with the hair? So first I have the Sol de Janeiro um, little kit. It has the cream, the shower gel, and a mini perfume. Okay, so next thing my uncle actually picked out, it's the um, 62 Brazilian Crush perfume. I was so excited to get this because it smells absolutely amazing it's also like insanely large like i have a huge head and then look at it compared to my head what okay so basically my uncle knew someone in there and um i asked her like if she had a setting spray and so i was holding the milk one and she was like no make your uncle spend his money and so anyways she told me to pick up this one and so i grabbed the smaller size one and she goes no get the big one and my uncle was like yeah get the big one like what Oh, like of course i was like okay oh my jesus oh my god i would like totally rock blue eyes what jk y'all brown eye supremacy okay so i forgot if i did this already but next i got the little laneige midnight to morning hydration okay so when i got home um my sister wasn't feeling too good so i was like okay like i'll i'll let you share some stuff and um i got this laneige thing right so basically, I didn't realize that um, not all of these were lip care products, and I made her put these on her lips, and she was like, these taste, taste disgusting, and I was like, Grace, like, what? But then I read them, and I realized this was the only lip care product, so I'm sorry, Grace. Next, I was so excited. It's the Laneige little lip balm thingy. Ah! Okay, so next, I was asking if they have the de bronzy drops, because I really want them, but they didn't, but she did find the little um rosy drops and i was like it's fine but then my uncle was like grab them and i was like okay and i also wanted to try to find the polypeptide cream but they didn't have it but they did have the um whipped cream and so i'm still really excited next i grabbed um this product from milk which is the um little highlight stick i think um i put a little on my nose and it looks really good so i'm really excited to try it out oh so I like ripped this open, so <laughs> whoops. But I got the um milk. I wanted to get the con like the bronzer thing, and I said contour, and the lady was like, So you can get this foundation stick, and I was too scared to say no. So I got this, and I'm really excited to try it out because it honestly looks really, really cool. I have a headache from talking. Um lastly, I got the ordinary uh niacinamide um drops from the ordinary and I have the caffeine solution one uh, right here, and I really like it. I think it worked um, amazing for me, so. So that's all I bought, but I did get these samples. Um, the lady at the thing was so nice, and she gave me um, a cologne for my uncle, and I got this Juliet has a gum, not a perfume, perfume, and these two face washes. Quick filter swap, but anyways, I've been doing really good in school, and so that is one of the main reasons that um my uncle took me out and i'm so grateful so thank you so much thank you so much um for 60 followers i'm so extremely grateful for everything and so yeah have a beautiful day and i love you guys hi guys and i have a haul to do so i went to sephora um and they're literally out of stock of everything that i wanted but it's because I wanted, like, all the stuff that, like, everyone has. So I was, like, expecting to be out of stock. So I'm going to check online. So hopefully I have a makeup haul coming online soon. But anyway, let's start with what I got at Sephora. Because I did find some pretty good finds. So, okay, first we're going to start with this. I bought the mini version. And oh my goodness. It's so good. And I got it because Alex Earl, Earl got it. And I, like, love my lashes. So I had to get it in the bigger version. And, yeah, I low-key love it. Okay, guys, and then next... Oh, wait, should I do this last? No, I didn't get that much. Okay, so next... So there's this hair mask. 
that I think Alex Earl uses, and I forget her name, but she's another girl I follow that, like, knows Alex Earl. I literally love her, too, but she, I've seen, like, many people use this and said that they love it, and I literally have to get it. It's this K18. It's a leave-in hair mask repair, and just everyone says it's, like, so amazing, and I'm so excited to try this out. So, we're going to test this out, and I'll let you guys know. Okay, so I already took it out of the packaging, but I got this, uh... Clinique. I don't know how to say this brand, but I literally have used this brand before. It's a lash serum. So basically, I've been using Rade Lash, but like I'm scared it's like not working and just like like my lashes are falling out. Like I don't know. I'm just scared of Rade Lash. So my mom saw this one and she's like, "Let's try this one out." So I'm trying this one out. I've only used it twice, so obviously I can't see a difference. But I mean, I don't have puffy eyes at all, and it's like pretty good so far. Okay, so then I got a NARS concealer. I got a mini one, though, because it's not the shade that my mom has. It's one lighter, or that my other one has. And I want to see if it's better than the one I'm wearing right now, which I don't think it is because I like the one I have on right now, but I got to make me to try it out. It's literally, if you're looking for a concealer, this one. Literally this one. It's literally the, like, it's like, it goes on so nice. I'm obsessed. That's it. Thanks for watching. Sephora haul. I just want to say that I got most of this stuff last week because it was during when I was banned and it was a pretty big haul, so I still want to show you guys. So the first thing I got was this dry shampoo from Amika. It's the Perk Up one. And I tried it out with my friends, so I already know that I like it. And I needed one because, like, after I straighten or curl my hair, I don't want to have to wash it too soon. So in order to keep my hair like that for longer, I bought this. The second thing I got is the Drunk Elephant Whipped Cream, and I got this because I already had one. I was just running out, and I gave the rest to my friends, so I bought this new one. You guys should totally go get this. It's perfect for the trending skincare smoothie, and it's just super good, and I just love the texture on my skin. The next thing I got was from Gisu. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's a hair care brand. And I got the honey infused hair mask in the shower. So basically what you do with it is you put it in your hair after shampooing and you let it sit for like five to seven minutes. And it made my hair super soft after. So I started using it like every other week and I love this, you should go get it. So the next thing I got was the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush finishing powder. Sorry that some of the stuff doesn't have the box. It's cause I threw out some of the boxes. So, this is what I have, and I got it in the shade 2. It kind of just is like a finishing or setting powder, but less loose. The next thing I got was the Kosas Concealer in the shade 5W, and it's super nice. I love it. I've heard a couple, like after buying it, I heard a couple things on TikTok that it wasn't so good, but for me, I absolutely love it, and it's super good. The next thing I got was this eyelash curler from Tweezerman, but they sold it at Sephora. Alex Earl has this. I know I've mentioned this in other videos, but it's super good and it curls your lashes really nicely. The next thing I got was a restock of my mascara. I have the Dior Show Iconic Over Curl. Here's what it looks like, the box. It's super good and I just wanna show you guys. I've already used it a couple times. The applicator is curved like that, and I just love this product. Sorry if you guys can hear the rain. It's raining a lot here. The last thing I got was really boring because it is a brush. It's the number 13 from Sephora. It's an eyeshadow brush, and I don't know. I just got it because I also use it for under my eye like concealer because I've seen people using brushes for concealer, and it's boring, but I needed one, and we all need brushes sometimes. Bye everyone, hope you enjoyed. Okay, so I went to the mall, came back, tanned, showered. Now I have a haul. Okay, first things first, I got the Sol de Janeiro deodorant. This is probably the most unnecessary purchase that I didn't need to get, but I really wanted to get it because this is like my favorite scent and it's aluminum free. And I really need to start using aluminum free deodorant. So. Kind of dumb, but I hope it works. Okay, 
Next thing I got were the mini Isle of Paradise tanning drops and I really wanted these for my trip so my face will stay tan over time while I'm gone because I'm not going to bring my fake tanner. Okay, next thing I got was this. This is the Brightening and Clearing Serum. Oh, I hope I got the right thing. But yeah, I definitely did. So I tried this. I tried my friends the other night and I literally woke up with like the most even looking skin tone. So I had to go get it. It's supposed to help like dark spots and acne scars. This is just supposed to help your skin's overall tone. Okay, next I got an oil because I really wanted to get um, a face oil to mix in with my moisturizer when I put my moisturizer on because I know that's really good and hydrating and makes your skin very glowy. So I got the Ordinary Rose Hip Seed Oil. It says it's good for all skin types. It's just like good overall for your skin. That's what it said on the box. I know it's just like simple ingredients. I didn't want to get something that was like super expensive and cool looking, but it was like low key really bad for your skin. Next, I just got um, a Laneige lip balm and i didn't get like the jar version because as much as i love the jar version and the packaging of it it's super inconvenient so i just got the lip balm version and this one smells so good next i got the summer friday sunscreen i heard good things about it somebody commented it on my tiktok this morning so i got it i didn't want to use the glow screen anymore because i didn't like how it looked under my makeup okay last but not least i got oh yeah the oat cleansing balm this is my favorite makeup remover i got the mini version to take with me on my trip that's all Hey guys, I'm a Sephora haul and I'm so excited. Okay, so I only got one thing, but I got the little mini drunk elephant set. So it comes with all of these little mini products. And I'm so excited because I wanted this for so long and I had a gift card, so I just used that. I'm so excited, so let's unbox it. I'm so confused right now. I have no clue how to even like open this. Okay, I just got it open, so now I'm just gonna see what's inside. Oh my Okay, I'm banning myself from shopping. I told you guys I wasn't gonna spend any money today and here I am, $160 in debt from Sephora. But I still wanna show you what I got. Okay, we'll start with this bag. The first thing I got is the Benefit Brow Pencil. I love this thing. I was just out of mine and I got it in the shade three. It's like a natural light brown. Okay, the next thing is like my favorite. I finally got the Makeup by Mario Skin Perfector. I still want the enhancer too. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. I got the shade light medium, which I believe they were out of online, so. So cute. It's literally plastic and I'm like, it's so cute. And look at that. Love it. I'll try it tomorrow and let you guys know how it works. And it is my birthday month. So I did get to pick a little gift and I chose the Laura Mercier setting powder and I'm going to see what this is. I've actually never used the setting powder, but everybody like raves about it. So that's why I chose this. And I also got, it looks like a strapless caviar stick eye color. That could be cute. I guess I just color my eyes with this. And then obviously you probably know what the powder looks like, but I'll show you guys it. It's like a cute little baby one. I love this. So all of this, and then I'll show you guys what I got in the second bag. Okay, onto the second bag. And if you're my dad, stop watching because your gift is in here. So I got my dad this cologne. He's like obsessed with it. It's the Spice Bomb by Victor and Rolf. 
It's also his birthday month, so my mom went ahead and signed him up for like an account, and I got to get another little birthday gift. I'll show you guys what's inside. And she signed him up for like a credit card, so I also got like another video that I'll show you. You get the liquid silk canvas, just like a sample of it. The little mini dewy skin cream. I cannot wait to use this. I'll let you guys know if I love it. And a little thing of the soft cream cleanser. And since we like signed him up for an account, I also got this little like package and it comes with a Dior Forever Skin Glow in the shade 2N, which is a foundation. And then I got the Copper Peptide Rapid Plumping Serum. So I'll try all this stuff out and let you guys know if I love it. I'll try to post a makeup tutorial with all of this tomorrow. So thank you for watching. Hey guys, I have a Sephora haul. Okay, so all of my friends are like at the mall right now, but I'm going to the beach tonight. So I had to get some like last minute stuff and I ran into some of my friends and I was with my mom and it was so awkward. Well, it wasn't awkward, but like, you know. Okay, well anyways, um, I thought the Sephora sale started today, but it doesn't. That's why I didn't get as much stuff as I thought because I was gonna get a lot of stuff when the sale started. I literally just ran up. I ran like all my driveway and I raced up the stairs. But anyways, I'm going to show you guys what I got. Okay, so first I got the Day Shampoo and Conditioner because I use Olaplex and I heard that it's like causing cancer and like making your hair fall out and I don't want that to happen. So I'm just going to try this for now. I heard really good things about this and I'm pretty sure it's anti-dandruff. But I don't know how it smells and I really want to, I really need to know. Wait, it smells good. It smells pretty good. I mean, Olaplex, I love the smell of it, but, oh no, no, it smells really good. So yeah, I'll let you guys know how I like these. And then I got the Say Sun Glow, because I use my mom's, and she gets so mad, so I needed to get it, and I'm so excited I finally have it. Oh my god. I'm literally so excited you don't understand. They're my favorite things in the world, and I like it way better than the bronzing drops, like, look at that. So, yeah, that's my haul. Love you guys, and I'm going to film a packing with me for the beach. So, I went to Sephora, and let me show you guys what I got. And I'm not going to lie, most of these things, I was influenced by TikTok. So, yeah. Okay, so the first thing that I got was the Fenty Butter Drop, and this is the limited edition one. Um, I've seen so many girls use this and, like, sell it out, so when I saw it, I definitely had to grab one. And I love the original purple one, so I just, I just threw that one in the cart because I just knew it was going to be good. And this I had to just re-up on. I originally just tried it in the travel size. But this has become like a holy grail for me, like a staple. It has definitely changed like the texture of my skin and makes it super like smooth and glowy. So I highly, highly recommend this. I also picked up the Faded Topicals Cream and this is just the, or it's a serum. And this is just the travel size one because I just wanted to try it. I actually have like a really stubborn scar right here. So I want to see how good that works. Wow, dream coat. What is it called? Supernatural spray. Also see a lot of girlies use this. And I think it's just supposed to help with like frizz and like humidity and just make your hair look good. So we'll see. I am a sucker for blushes. So I saw Alex Earl, well Patrick Ta use it on Alex Earl. And so this is just the um, blush, the cream and the powder blush. And I love blush. So this was so cute. And I'm so excited to try it. And I always get like this type of color blush. So I just, I just know this is about to be good. For some reason, I've never tried out the airbrush um, powder by Charlotte Tilbury. So I got this one in a small size as well. It's supposed to like brighten your under eye. I think you have to put it like after your regular powder just to brighten it up a little bit and smooth it out. So we shall see about this one. But I feel like this one's going to be really good because I always see girls use this. And the last two things I got were lip products. I just got the Fenty Gloss Balm in just the clear one. Oops. Just the clear one. Because I actually really wanted to try the hot chocolate one, but they didn't have that one. So I was like, let me just get the clear one. And then I wanted to try just like a new lip balm. Um, and this is actually Winnie Harlow's brand. I didn't know that. But it's just a... Um, 
like a lip balm. It's more like a gloss. Since my wedding is coming up and I'm doing my own makeup for my wedding, I'm like trying out all the products that I want to use. So I went to Sephora, so let me show you what I got. This is actually skincare, but I ran out of my other bottle. This is my third bottle of buying this. The Paula's Choice 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. It's amazing, but you already know that. This was kind of just more of a want. It's the Summer Fridays Lip Balm in Pink Sugar. I've already used it and I already love it. And one for my friend Ashlyn. It was my birthday on Sunday, so I got my birthday gift. And the birthday gifts this year were actually really good. It's the Ilia Multi Stick. Looks like a rosy blush and highlight. And then the mascara. I also got a new setting powder. This is the Huda Beauty Easy Bake. I think I have it in shade Banana Bread. Look how pretty. I'm actually so excited to try this. Since my wedding's gonna be in Hawaii in the middle of summer, I'm gonna be like sweating off my makeup. So I need a really good setting powder. I also got their concealer, but I definitely got the wrong shades. So I think I'm gonna go have to exchange it. On my tan days, it'll work, but like today is not, not gonna work at all. It's the faux filter concealer. I have it in shade 3.5N. It's sugar biscuit. I feel like we can make it work. It's gonna be pretty yellow, but I kind of wanted a yellow under eye. And then just some samples, but I'm actually super excited so to try these. Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer. And I've never tried the foundation. It's the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. And if I like one of those, I'll probably get it at the Sephora sale next week. And I'm going to make a whole video for myself and for you on the Sephora sale and like things you should be looking at and buying. So stay tuned for that. I guess I can do my makeup now. I'll have everything linked in my like to know with exact shades, exact product, and over on Lemonade. And my username is the same on Lemonade, just Jacqueline Mangle.